my lovely Buttercup Joe, you're from Stratton St. Margaret, Wiltshire, West Country, Wessex, Merry England. There's my vegetable garden, they be runner beans, they are, look at them. They're fine things, aren't they? Oh, -oh. and here's some of my little seed beds here. You, I, I, I keep the packets, don't I? I just stick some on the stick there so I know what's there. Some people draw, draw a little diagram, aren't they? That's some of me netting for when things start coming through. Keep them their birds off at bay, you know. Especially them their pigeons. The best thing for a pigeon's in a pot. Now, there's a couple of runner beans coming through there. I put those little plastic things over the top to keep the birds off of them. To make them grow a bit better and all the rest of it. Just tremendous money. Now, onions. Red onions. Fantastic in salads. Oh, they're just lovely. You can eat them raw. Oh, you do. Oh, with a bit of cheese and all that, a bit of ploughman's lunch. Those rich men, they long for the plough, don't they? Oh, they wish they had a lot of this, didn't they? Well, they could have it, but they're too busy making money, aren't they? How much money do you need? That's what I say. No, no, no. The more money you got, I suppose, the more important it comes to them. To me, the more money I got, the less important it is. <laughs> That's a country way of looking at things. Hey, look, lovely onions. I got beans in here. They should be coming through soon. Don't they? So and then they're all gone all continental. Like we grow French beans now. I must admit, they are loose beans. Like I'm a bit of a bean man, so I do love them. Oh, all sorts. <laughs> hey, look at these. They're my favourite, mate, because I'm old-fashioned. Traditional broad beans, and they they come up rather well, really. Look at them there. Those ones are doing well over there, but these ones here. Look at that. I just put those things over again, keep them their birds off. And they grow quicker anyway. Yeah, and when they get, you know, like those ones over there, you know, I, I, I take some off then, don't I? I'm walking through here and all that. Oh, that's good. You've seen that before if you've seen my vlogs and all that. Yeah, compost. Uh, some modern compost ones from Blackwells. Didn't cost very much. I'll tell you what, it works. Just put the things at the top, and now it comes at the bottom. Ah, and you can, oh, you got water every now and then. Oh, you human pee. Yeah, urine. Yeah, it is good for it. Extra minerals and stuff like that. People laugh at me when I say that, but no, no, it won't do you any harm. Sterile is your right. Hey, look at that. Mint. That's fantastic. Have on your lamb, and it can make that mint tea, because when I went to Morocco, I got a bit of a taste for that. Oh, tremendous stuff, but oh, I tell you what. Yeah. Rhubarb. Look at that. Lovely, lovely. Oh, that's tremendous stuff. And look how green it is. That's really in good condition. That's, I told you before, this is oh, 50 years old, this plant. They say it should only last about 10, 12 years. I oh, don't know about that. Who's the great they, I suppose? <laughs> that's fantastic, isn't it? I'll be having some of that tomorrow. I think I might have a rhubarb crumble. Because her indoors makes a nice rhubarb crumble, it does. Yeah, I've got a cabbage left over there. I don't know why you've been into cabbages last week make it into a cold store I suppose but it's still all right isn't it and there's some some of the old uh, spinach there now look how lovely and warm it is you can see the old sun showing and all the rest of it guys it's lovely well that there's parsnip there oh he loves those parsnips isn't it? tremendous so oh, lovely, lovely I've got a row of them now I've got one two three about five rows of carrots because they do like carrots right? now they're pretty cheap but they don't taste as good do they because as soon as they come out of the garden you put them in the pot you cook them much sweeter they are because after about half an hour of being out of the garden they start losing their natural sugars look at that there <laughs> look at that that be a little potato that and there's quite a few of them coming through I like potatoes and all straight out of the garden now this is a bit of a rubbish heap here <laughs> uh, I tidied up other people's gardens got all these, some of these plastics didn't they well, that'd be it. That'd be a fantastic bonfire one night. Don't know. I might do it when my, my boy comes around and we can sit around the fire and have a look there. Oh, the rest of it. Well, I'll tidy this up a bit, but these are some of the things I use for <laughs> just burning things and just having a bit of fun, really. And all that. Ah, I've got lots of old bits of wood here. I might make something out of it. I'll just. An old shed there. My neighbour blew down and he said, you can have it. <laughs> wheelbarrow. That's fantastic. Old wheelbarrow like that, isn't it? Uh, the old ones are the best, isn't they? And all that. Now, this is quite new to my garden, this is. Look at this. 
fruit beds. <laughs> Strawberries in the corner there. Oh, you got to, got to replant them, and I got gooseberries there, raspberries. Oh, fantastic! Especially like gooseberry, the gooseberry tart, and all the rest of it. What are these? <laughs> fantastic, aren't they? Oh, wow, you got a, bit of a mix and match in there. Well, this is it, the Plaid de la Resistance, isn't it? The old man shed. Where only men be allowed. Look at that there. Oh, I've got my old flag in the cider there ready because I'm going to sit down in a minute. We're going to drink some of that natural dry cider. Fantastic. Look at that lovely tree there with all the apple blossom on it and everything like that. Notice that natural dry cider. I've got a litre. <laughs> I went to the Munich Beer Festival oh, years ago. Bloody hell, it must have been. Nearly 40 years ago now, and I brought that back. I stole it actually from the Hofbrau house. Probably be arrested today, but he didn't mind then. No, no, I bought loads of beer, mind. <laughs> I thought it was lovely. Those Germans, they make the second best beer in the world, don't they? <laughs> yeah, just tremendous. English beer, British beer is much better, mind. But look at that there. Look at that. The old current bum be out. This is lovely. The birds be flittering around. There's lovely little. Well, they're, they're my neighbours, they are. They don't keep up their gardens, it's because rented property, isn't it? Well, I suppose it goes wild. Oh, there's lovely flowers over there. I've done really bad. Oh, it keeps it down a bit, some of those stinging elves and all the rest of it, but... That's up to them, isn't it? Oh, I don't mind that lovely tree and all that. Well, that's a very rural life out here, isn't it? You know, I, I do like it and all the rest of it. I well, ought to do a bit more tidying up, really, but it's not shining too much. <laughs> There you go then, Buttercup Joe from Stratton St. Margaret, Wiltshire, West Country, Wessex, Merry England, just enjoying his garden and sharing it with you. I hope you enjoyed it and you have a lovely day wherever you be. You be in a town or you be in a city, you make the most of it. And if you haven't got a garden, go out and walk in a park and all the rest of it, because some of those park keepers, they don't have to know how to look after places. I talk to them, because they, they know a lot, they do. Ah, there you go. Ah, my wheelbarrow. Tremendous. Okay then. Buck up, Joe. Sign on. Before he starts rambling. <laughs> like a rambling rose or a rambling country rose road, isn't it? <laughs> Cheers then, boy.